More than a month after Election Day, a recount to determine the winner of the race for Clark County Commission District C will begin. 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey live with why one candidate has refused to concede, called the recount, and is taking part of his battle to court. Sean? Yeah, Kalina and Dave, the recount just began here at the Clark County Election Department with workers checking each of the roughly 153,000 ballots cast in District C to make sure that Democrat Ross Miller's victory by just 10 votes is accurate. This recount is coming very late. The Clark County Commission originally refused to certify the election, saying the 139 discrepancies found in this race were higher than the 10 vote gap. Instead, commissioners considered a special election. Later, the commission reversed course after a judge insinuated that state law would only allow them to call a special election if the irregularities prevented them from having an election at all. And that's not what happened in this race. Republican Stavros Anthony is hoping that this recount pulls him ahead of Ross Miller. It would take just six votes to do that. Anthony is also continuing his legal battle trying to force a special election, a combo that could be a catch-22 for Anthony if the recount turns in his favor. You come out ahead in the, in the vote count, should there still be a special election? Uh, well, we'll uh, it's it, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I mean, the uh, uh, we'll have to see what the outcome is. We'll have to see how the what the Clark County uh, uh, Commission does. Uh, at this point, they've decided that they want to certify an election that is in, that is inaccurate. Uh, so we'll we'll that that's a great question, but I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, Anthony not exactly standing by his calls for a special election there in this recount. Registrar of Voters Joe Gloria says that they will process the ballots the same way that they did the first time around. They have five days to complete the recount and then present their results. Miller and his campaign team and Anthony's campaign team have uh, said that they are going to be here to observe this recount, make sure that everything is accurate. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.